Hi guys! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Kahit sa ang sulok mga kayo ng mundo. Share ko lang guys kung paano mag-fill up ng DS160 para sa Q1 Fiancé Visa. Yan guys. Ayan guys, type lang natin yung SIAC. Yan, enter. Yan guys. Nandito po sa baba guys yung Consular Electronic Application Center. Click lang po natin yan guys. Aton guys. Ayan na po siya guys. U.S. Department of States Consular Electronic Application Center. Dito po tayo sa non-immigrant guys kasi K1 fiancé visa po tayo. Ito po yung sa atin yung DS-160 online non-immigrant visa application. Click lang natin yan guys. Please enter the code as shown daw sabi niya. Kaya type lang natin yung C R R W E. Yan. Tapos guys, start an application na tayo guys. Yan. Ayan na siya guys. Ito guys, I agree. Check lang natin yan. Tapos guys, itong your application ID. Save natin yan guys kasi baka maabotan tayo ng oras guys. Hindi pa tapos. Yan. Save natin to guys, yung your application ID. Tapos dito sa baba guys, may nakalagay na What is the given name of your mother's mother? Yan. Lagay lang natin dito guys. Depende rin guys kung anong gusto nyo kasi marami naman guys. Mamimili lang kayo. Pero ako, ako okay na sa akin yan. Yan guys. Tapos lagay natin kung ano daw ang pangalan ng mother natin. Sample lang to guys. Yan. Try natin. Tapos guys, ito. Yan. Continue. Click natin yung continue guys. Yan. Tapos dito sa taas, may nakalagay surname, personal information 1. Yan. Sample natin. Uh, tubig. Tapos Maria. Yan guys. Tapos dito may nakalagay na full name in native alphabet daw guys. Ang ilagay ko lang dito is does not apply. Yan. Tapos dito sabi niya, have you ever used other names? Example daw, middle name, religious, professional, alias. Yan. Ako naman guys, wala. Kaya ang answer ko is no. Tapos guys, dito sabi niya, have you, do you have a telecode that represents your name? No. Tapos dito guys, female. Yan. Tapos dito guys, marital status. Yan. Sili ka lang dito guys kung married ka na, kung common law marriage ka na, kung civil union and domestic partnership ka, or single. Ako guys, sili ko yung single kasi single pa naman ako. Yan guys. Tapos dito guys, date of place and birth. Yan, try natin. Yan, mga sampo lang to guys. Yan. Tapos. Tapos, kung anong city daw, guys. Lagay natin. Sambuanga. Del Sur. Yan. State or province daw, guys. Kung anong province mo. Okay, ko yan. Tapos, country. Or region daw guys. Kaya lagay natin, nalapit natin ulit yung Philippines. Philippines again guys. Yan, Philippines. Tapos pagdating dito guys, save mo lang palagi guys. Kasi may oras po to guys eh. Save lang natin. Tapos continue application. Yan. Tapos next, personal 2. Yan. Sa personal 2 guys, ang, ang sabi niya, country, region of origin, nationality. Yan, hanapin natin ulit guys, yung Philippines. Yan, Philippines. Tapos sabi niya dito, 
Do you hold or have you held any nationality other than the one indicated above on nationality? Ang answer ko dito guys is no. Ako sabi niya dito, are you a permanent resident of a country, region other than your country and region of origin nationality indicated above? Answer ko guys is no. Tapos dito guys, sabi niya dito, identi national identification number. Wala naman tayo niyan guys sa Pilipinas. Kaya ang sagot natin dito does not apply. Yan. Click lang natin yung ano. Tapos dito guys, UA Social Security Number. Wala rin tayo niyan guys. Kaya does not apply. Tapos dito guys, sabi niya, U is Taxpayer ID Number. Kaya wala rin tayo niyan guys. Kaya does not apply. Tapos save again guys. Continue application. Tapos tra next travel. Yan. Sabi niya dito guys, travel information. Sabi niya, purpose of trip to the US. Sabi niya. Yan, piliin natin dito, fiancé. Yan. Fiancé or spouse of a US citizen K. Yan, kasi mga fiancé, mga K1 fiancé visa po tayo guys. Yan, piliin natin. Sabi niya dito, specific. Please select, sabi niya. Kaya, Yan, fiancé of a US citizen K1. Yan. Tapos guys, dito application number, petition number. Makikita natin to guys sa WAC, sa NOA 1 yung nag-start sa WAC. Yan guys. Um lagay lang natin 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9. Sabay sabay ko yan. Tapos sabi niya dito, have you made, have you made specific travel plans? No. No, ang nilagay ko dyan guys. Tapos sabi niya dito, intended date of arrival. Yan, sample lang yan to guys. Yan. Yan. 2022. Yan. Sampo lang yan guys. Tapos dito guys, sabi niya, address where you will stay in the US. Lagay natin yung address ni fiancé kung saan siya. Kung saan tayo mag-stay, di ba? Kay fiancé tayo mag-stay. Kaya ilagay natin yung address ni fiancé dito. Yan. At kung anong city daw guys. Yan. At saka kung anong states daw. Sabi niya, yan. Tapos kung ano yung code. Yan. Tapos sabi niya dito, person, entity paying for your trip. Yan. Hanapin mo guys, kung ikaw yung nagbabayad sa trip, sa travel mo, Pili mo yung self. Pero ako kasi, si petitioner lahat ang gumasto sa akin. Kaya, nalagay ko dito, US petitioner. Yan, select ko lang. Tapos guys, save again. Yan. Tapos next. O yung walk ko daw guys, hindi pwede. Ayan guys, continue application tayo. Click. Tapos... Yung next travel companions. Yan guys. Tapos guys, sabi niya dito, travel companions information. Person travel with you. There are other person traveling with you. Ako guys, ako lang kasi mag-isa ang mag-travel, kaya no. Yan. Save again guys. Tapos click on continue application. Tapos, next, previous US travel. Yan, guys. Sabi niya dito, previous US travel information. Have you ever been in the US? No. Kasi hindi pa naman ako nakapunta ng US, guys. Eh, first time pa lang. Next, have you ever been issued a US visa? No din ang sagot ko, guys. Kasi first time ko rin may ng visa ngayon. Tapos, sabi niya dito, 
Have you ever been refused a U.S. visa or been refused admission to the United States or withdrawn your application for admission to the port of entry? No. Tapos next, has anyone ever filed an immigrant petition on your behalf with the United States Citizenship and Immigration Service? No. Save again guys. Tapos continue application. Next, address and phone. Yan guys. Address and phone information. Lagay natin dito guys, yung address natin dyan sa Pilipinas. Yan. Kung ano man yung address sa Pilipinas, mga sample lang to sa akin guys. Yan. Tapos kung anong city daw guys. Yan. State of province does not apply. Postal code. Ayoko na siya lagyan. Kung gusto nyo rin guys, lagyan natin. 1, 2, 3, 3. Sige. Tapos guys, country daw or region. Yan. Hanapin natin yung Philippines. Kasi sa Philippines tayo. Yan guys. Tapos sabi niya dito guys, mailing address is your mailing address the same as your home address? Yes. Yes, guys. Kasi, parehas lang naman yung mailing address ko at saka yung address ko. Yan. Tapos dito, guys, phone, primary phone number. Okay. Phone number natin. Yan, guys. Secondary phone number does not apply. Work for, work for, Phone number does not apply. Aba sabi niya dito guys, have you used any other phone numbers in the last five years? No, kasi hindi man ako gumamit ng ibang number. Yan guys. Tapos guys, sabi niya dito email address daw guys. Yan, ito silik ko na lang siya guys para mabilis tayo. Tapos dito sabi niya, have you used any other email address in the last 5 years? No. Isa lang ang email ko guys eh. Yan. Tapos dito sabi niya, social media provide and platform. Yan. Facebook. Yan guys. Tapos sabi niya, social media identifier daw guys. Kung ano yung nakapangalan doon sa Facebook mo. Yan. Yan, guys. Tapos, guys, dito sa baba, sabi niya, Do you wish to provide information about your presence on any other websites for applications you have used within the last five years to, cre to create or share content? Sample daw, photos, videos, status update, etc. Ako, guys, hindi, ma hindi naman. Kaya, doon ang sagot ko, guys. Save again guys. Tapos continue application. Yan guys. Tapos next passport. Yan guys. Dito. Regular lang yung passport ko guys. Kung official, diplomatic o others. Kayo na bahala guys kung anong klaseng passport meron kayo. Ako kasi regular lang yung passport ko. Yan. Regular lang so, dito guys, sabi niya, ilagay daw yung passport number. Yeah, yan. Yan. Tapos dito guys, passport book number does not apply. Hindi ko na siya ulit-ulit. Kasi yung passport travel documents number at saka yung passport book number, isa lang kasi yan guys, eh. kaya ayoko na siya lagyan. Does not apply ko na lang siya. Tapos kung saang city daw, where was the passport travel document issued? Kung saan daw ina-issue yung passport mo ko anong city. Ang alagay ko lang guys is Metro Manila. Or NCR guys, okay lang. NCR lagay mo dyan. Or NCR lagay natin. NCR. Yan. Tapos Manila. 
Tapos, issue date guys, sabi niya. Tapos dito guys, country and region, Philippines, andyan na. Kaya, hindi tayo mag -ano. Tapos sabi niya, kung kailan daw na-issue yung passport mo, lagay natin. Sample. Ah, January 2017. Ah, expiration date daw guys ng passport mo. O oh, 8, yeah, 7 siya dapat. Yan. January 2025. Yan guys. Tapos sabi niya dito guys, have you ever lost a passport or had one stolen? Yan guys. Hindi pa naman ako nawala ng passport guys. Kaya ang sagot ko is no. Save again guys. Continue application. Next, US contact. Yan guys. US print contact information. Contact person or organization in the United States. Kung sino daw yung contact mo dito sa ano guys, sa US. Ako ang ilagay ko guys, yung fiancé ko. Yan. Yan. Sabi niya, organization name. Do not know. Tapos sabi niya, relationship to you. One of the relation namin, ang ilagay ko guys is US Petitioner. Yan. Save again guys. Continue application. Yan. Next family. Yan. Family information, relatives, father's full name. Sample to guys. Yan. Lagay natin. Yan. Tapos sabi niya, date of birth. Date of birth daw ng parents natin. Sample again. Tapos, nothing. Yan. Tapos sabi niya dito, is your father still living? Yes. Yes, lagay natin. Tapos hiningi niya yung address. Street address. Lagay natin address. Yan. City, Sambuanga de Luzor. Yan. State or province. Pwede mong it does not apply guys, pero ako lagyan ko kung anong province sila. Yan. Postal zone or zip code. Yan. Country or region. Yan. Philippines pa rin guys. Kasi sa taga Philippines man tayo. Yan, guys. Tapos dito, guys, sabi niya, is your father in the US? No. And then, mother's full name and date of birth. Okay, natin. Too big. Name. Tapos, date of birth. Then, January. Tapos dito guys, sabi niya, is your mother still living? Yes. Tapos hingi na naman siya ng address guys. Kaya bigyan natin yung address natin. Tapos dito guys, sabi niya, city. Lagyan natin yung Sambuanga del Sur. Tapos dito guys, state and province. Postal zone and zip code. Country, Philippines again. Yan. Is your mother in the US? No. Tapos sabi niya dito guys, do you have any immediate relatives not including parents in the United States? Ang answer ko dito guys is yes. Yan. Ang sagot ko ay yes. Ang ilagay ko pangalan dito guys, kay fiancé. Yan. Kasi siya po yung magiging relatives ko dito pagdating ko sa US. Yan. Sabi niya, relationship to you. Napin ko yung fiancé-fiancé. 
Tapos, relatives status. Lagay ko dito yung US citizen. Yan. Tapos, guys, save. Again, continue application. Tapos, guys, next, fiancé, fiancé. Yan. Family information, fiancé, fiancé. Lagay dito, fiancé, fiancé, surname. Yan, lagay natin. Tapos, pangalan ni fiancé. Fiancé's date of birth. Lagay natin. Yan. Tapos dito guys, fiancés, fiancés address. Kung ano daw address ng fiancé mo dito sa US. Yan guys. Tapos kung ang, anong city daw si fiancé dito sa US. Yan guys. States. Yan. Tapos, postal zone and safe code. Yan. Fiancy, fiancy occupation daw, guys. Lagay natin, for example lang, guys. O, oh, homemaker lang, guys. Sige. Para mabilis. Yan, guys. Tapos, save again. Tapos, next. Continue application, guys. Tapos, dito. Next, former spouse. Yan. Sabi niya dito, family information, former spouse daw. Sabi niya, do you have any former spouses? Ako guys, wala naman kasi. First time ko pa namang mag-asawa, kaya ang sagot ko is no. Save guys. Continue application. Tapos next, children. Sabi niya dito, family information, children. Sabi niya, Do you have any children? Sagot ko guys is no. Yan. Save again guys. Continue application. Tapos next work in education training. Yan. Sabi niya dito guys present work e education training information. Yan. Lagay ko dito guys is others. Kasi wala naman kasi dito yung work ko guys eh. Yan. Lagi, sabi niya, specify others daw. Lagay natin CCTV. Yan. Present. Tapos address daw guys. Yan na lang ilagay ko guys. Ay, ayoko na ilagay yung buo. Tapos, city daw guys. Kung anong city. State or province daw guys. Does not apply. Postal zone does not apply. Hindi ko na siya ilagay guys. Tapos, yung phone number. Yung phone number ko na lang guys ang ibigay ko. Yung phone number ko dyan sa Pilipinas. Hindi naman nagkagamit na yun eh. Ayan. Tapos guys, sabi niya, country or region, Philippines, yan. Date is started, lagay ko na lang guys, sample, yan, January 2014. Tapos sabi niya dito, monthly income in local currency, does not apply ako guys, hindi na kailangan guys sabihin. Tapos dito guys, verify and describe your duties. Ayan. Isa lang ilagay ko guys. Marami pa yung nadugtong pero isa lang ilagay ko dyan. Monitoring. Save again. Oh, state address daw guys. Oh, mali yung nilagyan ko guys. Nasa 2 pala ako. Wala pala ako sa 1. Ayan. Nasa 2 ako naglagay. Ayan. Okay na yan guys. Save again guys. Ayan. Continue application. Tapos, next, work and education previous. Yan, guys. Sabi niya, previous work, education, training, information. 
Were you previously employed? Hindi na ako maglagay guys para hindi na mahabang ano. Pwede naman kayo mag yes guys. Kung gusto nyong ilagay, mag yes kayo. Ayan guys, ang daming information guys. O na kailangan yung pilapan. Ako ayaw ko na mag yes. Mag, nag no ako dito guys. Para hindi na ang daming ano. Sa ibang ano ko na lang ilagay. Pag ibang application na lang. Pag nandito na ako sa US. Tsaka ako lang ilagay. Ayan guys. Tapos sabi niya dito, have you attended any educa educational institution at a secondary level or above? Nag-yes ako dito guys kasi may natapos naman tayo. Name of institution. Sambanga EE Colleges. Ayan guys. Tapos street daw sabi niya. Sambanga City. Uh, GS Alano Street GS Alano Street Yeah GS Alano Street po lang pa GS Alano Street City daw Zamboanga City Yeah State or province that not does not apply Postal zone and zip code does not apply. Country is Philippines. Course of study, computer secretarial. Yan guys. Date of attendance. Kailan daw ako nag-start? Sample lang to guys. Uh, yan. 2017. Oh. 1997 Ayan guys Tapos Kailan ako in Isang pole ulit February 1999 Ayan Tapos guys Save again O sabi niya dito sa Name of institution Sa bongga to Kaya hindi pwede guys. Lagay natin yung Ayan guys. Save again guys. Tapos continue application guys. Tapos next. Ayan guys. Additional work education training information. Sabi niya dito, do you belong to a clan or tribe? No. Tapos sabi niya dito, language name. Kung ano do yung alam mong mga lang lingwahe. Ko Tagalog lang, just saka English. Tapos ag-add, English. Yan, Tagalog at saka English na ilagay ko guys. Tapos dito sabi niya, Have you traveled to any countries? Region within the last five years? No. Sakot ko is no. Tapos sabi niya, have you resided in any country, region for six months or longer since you attend? 16 years of age? No. Tapos sabi niya dito, have you belong to contribute to or work for any professional, social or charitable organization? No. Tapos dito guys, sabi niya, have you any specialized skill or training such as firearms, explosive, nuclear, biological, or chemical experience? No. Tapos sabi niya dito guys, have you ever served in the military? No. Tapos dito guys, sabi niya, have you ever served in, been a member of, or been involved with a paramilitary unit, vigilant unit, tribal group, guerrilla group, or insurgent organization? No, sagot ko dyan guys. Save again guys. Continue application guys. Tapos next, security and background. 
Yan guys, dito guys, nakalagay security and background part 1. Sabi niya dito, do you have a communicable disease or public health significance? Communicable disease or public significance include chancroid or gorelia, granuloma, and injune di ko alam guys yan guys basta sagot ko dyan guys is no ang hirap big kasi guys eh tapos dito guys sabi niya do you have a mental and physical disorder that poses or is likely to pose a threat to the safety or welfare of yourself to or others sagot ko dyan is no tapos sabi niya dito guys are you Or have you ever been a drug abuser or addict? Sagot ko guys is no. Tapos sabi niya dito guys, do you have documentation or established that you have received vaccination in accordance with the US law? Sagot ko guys is yes. Kasi guys, bago po tayo dumating dito sa US, tumanggap po tayo ng vaccine from St. Luke's Medical Clinic. Yan. Kaya save again guys. Continue application. Tapos next. Yan guys. Next guys, security and background part 2. Yan. Sabi niya dito, Have you ever been arrested or convicted for any offense or crime even through subject or a pardon? Amnesty or order, similar action. May sagot ko guys is no. Yan. Tapos sabi niya dito, Have you ever violated or engaged in any conspiracy to violate any law relating to controlled substances? Sagot ko guys is no. Tapos sabi niya dito guys, Are you coming to the United States to engage in prostitution? or unlawful commercialized vice or how you been engaged in prostitution or procuring prostitute within the last within the past 10 years no ako sabi niya dito guys have you ever been involved in or do seek to engage in money laundering no have you ever committed on conspired to commit a woman trafficking offense in the United States or outside the United States no tapos sabi niya dito have you ever knowingly aided, abetted, assisted or collided with an individual who has committed or conspired to commit and serve severed human trafficking offense in the United States or outside the United States no ako sabi niya dito guys are you the exposed son or daughter of the individual who has committed or conspired to commit a human trafficking offense in the United States or outside the United States and have you within the last 5 years knowingly benefited from the trafficking activities no tapos sabi niya dito guys, Are you the spouse or son, daughter of the individual who has been identified by the President of the United States as as person who play a significant role in severe form of trafficking in person and have you within the last five years knowingly benefited from the trafficking activities? No. Tapos sabi niya dito, Have you the spouse or son daughter of the individual who has violated uncontrolled substance trafficking law and have knowingly benefited from the trafficking activities in the past five years? No. Save again guys. Continue application. Yan. Part 3 Yan, security and background part 3 Sabi niya dito Do you seek or engage in 
if usage sabotage export control violation or any other illegal activity will in the united states no oh, sabi niya dito do you seek or engage terrorist activities well in the united states or oh, have you ever engaged in the terrorist activities no Ako sabi niya dito guys have you ever or do you intend to provide financial assistance or other support so terrorist or terrorist organization no Ako sabi niya dito guys you are a member of representative of a terrorist organization no are you the spouse, son, or daughter of the individual who has engaged in terrorist activities, including providing financial assistance or other support to terrorist te or terrorist organization in the last five years? No. O sabi niya dito, have you ever ordered, incited, committed, assisted, or otherwise participated in genocide no I was sabi niya dito guys have you ever committed ordered incited assisted or otherwise participated in torture no tapos sabi niya dito guys have you committed ordered incited insisted or otherwise participated in extrajudicial killings, political killings, or other acts of violence. No. Tapos sabi niya dito guys, have you ever engaged in the recruitment of the U.S. of child soldiers? No. Have you, well serving as a government official, been responsible for a directly carried out at any time particularly severed violence of regulations freedom religious freedom no are you a member of a affiliate affiliated with a communist or other totalitarian party no Tapos sabi niya dito, have you ever directly or indirectly assisted or supported any of the group in the Colombian knows the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia, National Liberation Army, or United Self-Defense Forces of Colombia? No. Tapos sabi niya dito guys, have you ever thought of use of government or political position? Converted for personal gain, confis confiscated or exploited property in the foreign nation to which a United States national had claimed to ownership. No. Are you the boss, minor child, or agent of the individual who has tooth abuse of the government? governmental or political position converted for personal gain confiscated or expropriated property in the foreign nation to which the united states national had claim of ownership no have you ever disclosed or trafficked Trafficking in confidential U.S. business information obtained in connection with the U.S. participation in the Chemical Weapons Convention. No. Are you the spouse, man, or sh child, or agent of the individual who has disclosed or trafficked in confidential U.S. business information obtained? In connection with the U.S. participation in the Chemical Weapons Convention, no. Have you ever been directly involved in the establishment or enforcement of population controls, forcing a woman to undergo an abortion against her free choice or a man, or a woman to undergo sterilization against her? 
is or hear free will no have you ever been directly involved in the tra transplantation of a human organ or bodily issue no see again guys continue application tapos next yan guys yeah. security and background part 2 Have you ever sought to obtain and assist other or obtain a visa entry into the United States or any other United States immigration benefit by fraud or willful misrepresentation or other unlawful means? No. Are you subject to a civil penalty under INA 274C? No. Tawo, sabi niya, have you been ordered removed? from the u.s during the last five years no have you been ordered removed from the u.s for a second time within the last 20 years no have you ever been unlawfully present and ordered removed from the u.s during the last 10 years no have you ever been convicted of an aggravated felony and been ordered removed from the u.s no have you ever been unlawfully present in the u.s for more than 180 days but no more than one year and have voluntarily departed the u.s within the last three years no have you ever been unlawfully present in the u.s for more than one year in the a great at any time during the past 10 years no have you ever been removed or deported from any country no save again guys and guys continue application next and guys security and background part five Do you have ever withheld custody of the U.S. citizen child outside the United States from a person granted legal custody by U.S. court? No. Have you voted in the United States in violation of any law or regulation? No. Have you ever renounced United States citizenship for the purposes of avoiding taxation? No. No. Are you a former exchange visitor who has not yet fulfilled the two years foreign resident requirements? No. Do you seek or enter the United States for a purpose of performing skilled and unskilled labor but have not yet been certified by the Secretary of Labor? No. Are you a graduate of a foreign medical school seeking to promote medical service in the United States? but have not yet passed the National Board of Medical Exam examination or its equivalent, no. Are you a healthcare worker seeking for a performed SARS work in the United States, but have not yet received certification from the Commission of Graduates of Foreign Nursing Schools or from an equivalent of independent credentialing organization no are you permanently in ineligible for u.s citizenship no have you ever departed the united states in order to evade military service during a time of war no are you coming to the u.s to practice polygamy no has the secret Has the Secretary of Homeland Security of the United States ever determined that you knowingly made a frivolous application for asylum? No. Save again, guys. Continue application. Tapos part 5, guys. Yan, guys. Upload photos starting number 1, 2016. Eyeglasses will no longer be allowed in the new visa photos. Up yes, you guys. Yes, you guys. Nakalagay na.
lang siya. Tapos, continue using these photos, guys. Click lang. Yan, ito na po siya, guys. So, ang lumabas, guys. Na-uploadan na po natin siya ng ID. Ganyan na po siya. Kung mayroon kang gustong i-edit, guys, edit mo lang siya. Yan, tapos next tayo. Yan, kung mayroon kang gustong i-edit dito, edit mo lang siya. Yan. Next. Yan, kung mayroon kang i-edit, guys, edit mo lang siya. Madali lang naman mag-edit, guys. Bawa dito, mayroong mali dito na gusto mong i-edit. Edit mo lang siya ganyan, guys. O, yan, punta ka dito kung saan yung mali. Tapos, next. Yan. Yes, return to review. Yan. Yan, guys. Ganun lang siya kasimple, guys. Tapos, next lang ulit. Kung mayroong mali, double check, double check, guys. Yan. Double check, tapos yan. Pinakalas, guys, is sign and submit. Yan. Try natin guys ha. I-sign and submit natin. Pero ako kasi tapos na ako eh. Yan. Yan ang nakalagay guys. Oh. Pagdating dito guys, may nakalagay na spouse or fiancé, fiancé. Tapos dito, I heredy certified that I have received a copy of a EMBRA pamphlet as part of my application packet. Check mo lang yan guys para pagdating sa interview mo makatanggap ka ng pamphlet. Yan. Tapos dito, I be certified that I am legally free to marry and intend to marry but a friend, a US citizen within 90 days of my admission into the United States. Yan. Check mo lang yan guys. Tapos pagdating dito guys, sa baba, yan guys, may nakalagay dito na Preparer of application. Did anyone assist you in filing out this application? Wala namang tumulong sa atin guys. Kaya ang check natin dito yung no. Yan. Tapos sabi niya dito is signature daw. Tapos sabi niya, I certify, certified under a penalty of perjury under the law of the United States of America that the foregoing in true and correct. So, enter mo dito yung passport number mo, guys. Yan. Yan, yung passport number mo, guys. Tapos, yung itong code na nakashow. I-type mo lang siya, guys. Yan. Tapos dito guys, click mo lang yung sign and submission application guys. Yan. Guys, ito na po yung DS160 ko guys. Na-print ko na po siya. Yan po guys. Print nyo po yung confirmation guys. Kasi yan po yung dadalhin nyo sa interview nyo sa US Embassy Manila, Philippines. Para sa mga K1 fiancé visa. Yan lang guys ang may share ko sa inyo paano mag-fill up ng DS160. At maraming maraming salamat guys sa panunood ng YouTube channel ko. Please subscribe guys. Maraming maraming salamat. God bless you all.